Do you want to see one of the greatest examples of doubt being overcome by the power of the resurrected Christ? It's the story of Thomas. On that first resurrection morning when Jesus rose from the dead, Thomas wasn't there. The rest of the disciples couldn't wait to tell the great news. Thomas, we have seen the Lord. And Thomas's doubt is pretty evident. I will not believe unless I can see him with my own eyes, unless I take my hand and put it in his hand and feel the holes, unless I put in my hand in his side, I will not believe. Thomas drew a pretty strong line in the sand there. Now, I would not encourage you to do the same. Thomas was tempting fate, tempting faith, if we will. And yet our dear Lord is not put off by Thomas. He's not put off by Thomas's doubt. He comes to him and forgives him. It's eight days later. It's the beginning of the new week. The disciples are there in the room. Jesus is there. Thomas is there. And Jesus comes with a holy absolution to his disciples, including Thomas. Peace be with you. And there, Jesus steps right into Thomas's world, nose to nose with Thomas. Thomas, look at me. Thomas, take your hand, put it in my hand, feel the holes. Thomas, put your hand in my side. Stop your doubting and believe. You see, Jesus wasn't put off by Thomas's sin because the resurrected Jesus, the glorified Jesus, is far more powerful than any doubt or any fear that we bring to him. Thomas makes one of the boldest confessions that we have in all the New Testament. My Lord and my God. Dear saints, Jesus is not put off by your sin. He paid for your sin. His death on the cross paid for all of the times that we come to him with doubts and fears and wonders. You see, the evil one can do and does everything in his power to throw all matters of evil into your world. He continues to throw trauma into your world to cause us to wonder if Jesus can really forgive this sin. But the evil one, as hard as he works, is not more powerful than the resurrected Christ. Remember what St. Paul says to us, that Jesus Christ comes into the world to save sinners of whom I am the worst. Jesus stepped right into Thomas' world to give him peace and forgiveness. Do you want to see Jesus like Thomas? Then come and be where Jesus is. Take and eat. This is my body given and shed for you as the very body of Christ is laid in your hand or on your lips. Take and drink. This is the true blood of Christ given and shed for you for the forgiveness of all of your doubt and your fear. Take and eat. Take and drink. This is Jesus given and shed for you. Stop your doubting and believe because Jesus is not put off by your sins.